Okay, I'll be showing you some of the ways to work with the Canon T3i camera. It's their standard digital single lens reflex with a fairly decent um, capability of recording video. So I'll be using this for all of our projects. The camera is small and lightweight. If I'm holding it by hand, without the tripod, first thing I do is I put my hand through the strap. So that way if it falls, it just catches on that and doesn't go on the ground. Also when setting this down on the table, make sure that you put it lens face into the wall with the strap facing the wall as well. So the camera is the basic components of the camera are the body, the viewfinder, this is called a hot shoe, and of course the lens. On top of the camera, you'll see a mode dial. To make videos, you'll see the camera icon on top. You depress this little button here and you spin this, or so in this case you just spin it. Turn this to the, to the uh, mode dial. Turn this to the camera dial here. Almost everything's automatic, however you can adjust your auto ex your exposure and we'll go over that some other part, some other time. On the back of the camera, you'll see several things. First is a door. When you return the camera, flip the glass inward. When you're recording, you can leave this out if you're doing a shot that requires you to see it without um, looking right through it, or this way. So when you have the camera on, the camera turns on here. It's a switch. We're next to the mode dial. Now the camera is on. So you'd be watching. The, the way you control it is that if you wanted to record, you just push this button up top here, this live view. It's called live view. And then record button. So now I'm recording. When you're holding the camera, going back a bit here, and you have your hand through here, you hold the, hold the camera with one hand down here, and then this hand is on top to control other things. So we can see that right there. Okay, so going back to the back, the menu will give us a lot of different settings, and we'll explain these. Uh, We'll give you handouts on these um, different settings that we use with this camera. But just know they have a menu here. If you have to control your exposure, you just hold down this button up here because it says A, V right here, auto exposures here, I mean a manual exposure, and then you turn your wheel depending on over or under exposed that you want. It's important when you're using the camera on video and record that you depress the shutter to set your automatic focus. Many times you'll need to do this manually, in which case on the side of the lens here, to take the lens off, you just depress this. No need to, but just so you know, if you're going to switch to a longer lens. This is a control for automatic focus right here on the side of the camera. So it's on the left hand side facing down. It's auto. We have it on autofocus right now. This is the zoom control for wide shots and tighter shots. So that's the basic controls of the camera. The main ones anyway for now that we'll talk about. Other things that you'll need for the, um, making videos. Oh, I should show you also what's important is on the side of the camera here, before I jump over there, you have a place for your camera card. I'm using a 16 gigabyte Extreme Sandex, Sandex card a good card, about 25 to 28 dollars. On the bottom of the camera are two things that you need to know about. One is that when you record your camera for checkout, for the two-day checkout, you record the number. This is JMC01. You'll also need to get a fresh battery. So m many times, unless the camera is not on the shelf down below, it means the battery is not charged. There's no battery in it. So you'll grab a battery. It'll be in a charger. like this but we charge all the um, batteries in the office rather than you taking responsibility for another piece of equipment so now I'll take this battery this little connector goes right side in order to preview your videos 
on the back here. So you depress this little blue button. It'll show you up top. And then you hit set. And then play. So you can see that I just recorded it. Okay. So that's the basics of just the camera. So I just explained that your mode dial on camera on and off switch is here next to the mode dial. Put the mode dial on the camera setting. Your camera card goes in on the side. Connectors, contacts on the facing out towards the lens. Close it. Be very careful not to leave these doors open. Your battery is attached through the bottom. You can see this. Alright, this is where the tripod goes. Down here is the tripod. Your camera number is here. Hold the camera with your right hand holding the, the main grip and your lens will be held by your hand here if you're not using a tripod. Autofocus is on the side of the lens. Zoom. Sometimes you'll have to shoot on manual. Alright, and then this is the charger that we use. Um, do not, um, we don't usually give out um, lens caps because we use a filter on this that protects the lens pretty well. Another item, one other important item is to record better sound is called the shotgun mic. A shotgun mic is simply, it's a carthoid mic in this case, which means it's heart shaped, but it extends outward and it'll go past your lens and it'll pick up the sound more efficiently. It's covered with a windsock and then it has a um, kind of a noise reducing kind of buffer system where the, where the shotgun mic just floats freely on here. This attaches to the shotgun um, on top, the hot shoe. Shotgun attaches, or the, yeah, shotgun attaches to the hot shoe. Push this in a little bit. The controls are on and off, right here on the side, up here. And leave the settings um, the way they are on the camera. This case is 10, set on 10, right? So the cord is very important. On the side of the T3i is a port. We open it up and we push this all the way in into the mic slot. The top one is for remote. Make sure it's all the way in. And now this will override the recording mic down here. And the quality is much better. When you're shooting pictures of people, you want to have them at least five feet away from the background. It's very, very important that there's separation between the background. Your mic is about three, four feet away, as well as the camera. Okay, so that's the very basics of knowing how the camera works. When you're done, unscrew the hot shoe. Take your um, LED screen, flip it back over, shut the camera off, remove your card, return the camera. Okay, so that's the very basics of how to do this. Um, the cameras... Mm -hmm. The cameras will come in bags like this. So will just be set in here face up. You'll, you'll put in the other equipment that you have. Don't forget to keep your card. Zip up your bag when you're done and return it. Okay.